Uh, the recap. Uh, you guys headed to the small intestine. You you headed you you ran into a group of undead there. You defeated the undead. You went into the small intestine. You guys got to work down there. You guys beat a two dire tapeworms and an abyssal worm that somehow old, the old one swallowed. You finished up there. You headed to the brain. Now you're at the brain, and there was a bunch of sentient cysts guarding the brain. That that that's the recap. That that, that that's about it. Um, did I read you the description of the brain when you got here? I don't remember. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes, but also if you wanted to do it again, because I'll be honest, I I know these guys are things. I just don't know what they are. They're all cis people. I know this is a fucking giant cis. Every single one of these the guys are cis people, and that's a giant cis. Okay. Cis people. Yes, cis yeah, people. Yeah, not cis to be people. Confused They're the worst. Cis people. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, just you, always committing hate crimes. Yeah, we could we could get started. Uh, Rain, uh, it looks like you are first. What would you like right. to do? Uh, first, I would like to cast on myself kinetic jaunt. Okay. Zoom zoom zoom. Okay. Uh, so my effective speed right now is eighty feet. Okay. <laughs> Here, say whale, whale. That's, um, that's great. We just see a blur. So that so this is an it open could be door, worse. Right? They're Darkest, open. They're all just... open. I just I couldn't find the correct right. color <laughs> mm -hmm. to do this. So just there, um, those painted places are all open. Pretend that there are no chambers in a brain. <laughs> it's all just open. Um. All right, I'll just cut ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Stab. <laughs> You stabbing? Yep. Okay. Uh, you go. Please stab. Twenty-five to hit. Uh, yes. This is the assisted. Yep. All right. Um, I'm doing that with the melee action granted by haste. Okay. Um. All right. So that work. is fifty-six. I run away, provoking no opportunity attacks because of kinetic jaunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. I hold my action to uh uh to attack anything that I see uh that uh makes itself visible okay. on my next door. Oh wait, this is a doorway. So um um yeah, I'll do that here from over here. Okay, sounds good. And then I'll hit this guy with the oldy um Can you give uh, me the rocket watch? Can I use that? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Um, so at the start of the next turn, which is, it uh, goes to the Tars and then... Okay. Um, so that'll hit uh, the blue guy. Yep. And I should that'll fucking be... hope. <laughs> 37 <laughs> doesn't hit. We are fucked. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. All right. Gotcha. Yep. All right. Cool. Uh, Zaitari, what would you like to do? It's an excellent question. <laughs> um, uh, um, yeah, okay. I'm going to use my 8th level spell slot. I'm going to cast uh, Illusory Dragon. Okay. Uh, do you need a Dargon? Or did I already give you a Dargon? Uh, I did send you art for my dragon uh but it was a while ago this, i don't this probably was a long long time ago I, mean... I, I know that if you search our um private messages and look up riga uh you will find it because <laughs> i have it in parentheses how to spell it um i can also find it again myself because i remember looking for it because i couldn't remember oh wait no i didn't haha <laughs> oh wait because I did two eyes. Oh, it's spelled nope. with eyes? Hold on. Oh, here we go. Found it. Oh, okay. There you go. Here's my dragon. Okay. Uh, uh large. Or, sorry, huge. 
huge. All right, hold on. I'm making this into a token. And I'm going to conjure her in here. Choose image. Center that. Uh, we'll make it, uh, we'll make it Kusha. Actually, we'll make it a square, too. There we go. That looks nicer. Alright. Download. And, and grab. Okay. A uh, huge, you say. And essentially in here. Alright, so that is one line here. Two lines. There it is. So around like here. Here ish. Here ish. Okay, cool. Yeah, mostly so that like essentially when she appears, everybody has to make the wisdom saving throw. Okay, sounds um, good. Um, so it's twenty. I mean, assuming they can be frightened. So. Uh, I will check. Um, the cis can't be, the giant cis can't be frightened, but the cis people are able, have the ability to be frightened. Hooray! Uh, so... Nope, they are all frightened. Hooray! Except for the giant sis. Yeah. If you want to give me um, control yep, over I her as well, do that. that way I can uh, reposition. Uh, I imagine wh that while this is happening, Zaitari's eyes just kind of go black, uh, and her hair right. just starts floating as she's like weaving wisps of shadow into this giant shadow creature that's uh, slowly appearing in front of us. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, no, because as a bonus action, she's going to move a little bit. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to do a cone. Um, which I think I can draw one of those now. Maybe. Can I... Is there... Oh, there we go. One of the measure tools, yeah. Yep, found it. Okay. So well, maybe you can draw. Because I'm going... Nope. It's a 60-foot cone. Mm -hmm. So... And it's going to be lightning damage. So, yep, oh, pretty much just like that. So okay, it'll so hit everything in here. Just cysted and blue herald. All right, cool. Uh, they all have to make an intelligence saving throw. Mm -hmm. Intelligence, really? Yeah, because it's an illusion. Oh, okay, okay. All right, they, <laughs> they all do not make it. Hey, what do you know? They're not particularly intelligent. All right, so six. Uh, 30 points of lightning damage. All right. Um, I gotta check the behemoth just in case. Yep, 30 points. Uh, also, for anybody to determine that this dragon is not real, they have to spend an action um, making an intelligence check investigation against my spell save DC. Um, other than that, um, I'm gonna move a bit. Um, I'm gonna hide <laughs> behind Melanie. <Okay>. Um, <laughs> go right there, and that'll be the end of my turn. Okay, cool. Uh, Blue Herald is going to Blue Herald off to see the world. Okay. 
Um, so... it's gonna he's gonna cast towards you, Tilda. Why? I'm singing him a nice song. <laughs> All about him. <clears throat> I'm practically providing the services of a bard here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, is he casting something? Yeah, or... he is casting something. And I can see him? You, you can see him. And I have my reaction? You do have your reaction. I shall counterspell with old magic. Okay. Um... Third level. Yeah, you're going to have to roll. Oh, no. I will have to roll my intelligence. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, Don't jinx it. I know. Well. 23. All right. 23 does uh, cancel I think out I got that it. spell. Yep. And then as a bonus action, it is going to aggressively run towards you guys hmm. uh, with the speed of 30. I mean, if it just, like, meander, like, power walked <laughs> gently toward us, I'd be more afraid. Power walked gently is uh, quite a, a phrase. And... I'm not sure Thank how you. you can power walk <laughs> gently. I imagine it's like it's Mr. X, but he just, like, tiptoes through the tulips. Uh, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna chill there. It's gonna chill there. Kind of got Brooklyn Nine Nine when Holt did. That's really walking. what I was thinking oh. of. <laughs> Wait, when Holt does what? When they're under when they're in the witness protection program in Florida, and he's with the old ladies. Yeah. Talking about how okay. much he loves gigantic breasts. Yes. And... Mm -hmm. Oh my what? god, that was hilarious. Oh yeah. Well, because he's undercover as a straight guy, and so he's talking about oh, how much he loves his oh, mom okay. it, or his uh, his person or he loves uh breasts and he describes him so poorly it's amazing it's hilarious. yeah he's describing his uh widow uh oh yeah like, that's under, right yeah. excuse me he's undercover as a widower so he's describing his dead wife's large heavy breasts <laughs> <laughs> and he uses the word heavy and i was just like Ugh. <laughs> um i mean tilda is your turn it is my turn yep um right. So uh as a bonus action I'm going to um do some dark transport at it doesn't really matter if I increase the uh level so third level Ooh. um and go like right through that guy okay um and I'd kind of like to end up right here um I don't know if you guys can see my yeah we can uh, see okay and then go there um and duck around and try to uh, send a ray of frost towards uh, the big boy. Because okay. uh, that's how you get rid of a mole, right? You freeze it. Yeah. yeah. Har, har, har. <laughs> uh, you know, that the necrotic damage doesn't do as much damage as you think it should on the uh, dark okay. transport. Um, are these uh, undead by any chance? Do they, uh... they give me an undead? Sort of vibe? Nope. No? Nope. Okay. Then I guess it has to stick with necrotic. Um, okay. And uh, Ray of Frost. Does okay. a 22 uh, hit? 22, I believe. Yep, hits. So that will be... Hi, Dimitri. That is some... Garbage uh, damage. Alright, cool. Um, are you done with your and turn? And then I'd like to sort of 
yes, I would like to sort of duck back behind here. I know that puts me into melee with this guy, but I'm guessing um, he probably won't survive uh, Melanie. So, <laughs> or Rain's next turn, maybe even. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Okay. Um, Rain. Alright, uh, stab him with the, uh, melee action from haste. Do you get advantage because I'm in... I have so much advantage right now. Yeah, she gets, <laughs> she gets advantage. I should, I should have, have advantage. I should have, like, She can wake advantage. up and have advantage <laughs> at this point. Uh, 33 units, uh, that's, uh... Uh, that is 48. 48, uh, 42 if it's Faye. No. <laughs> it's Faye. Held action to stab again. Uh, Might be start Faye, we don't this know. Term. Okay. Um. <clears throat> By the way, did uh, the necrotic damage seem to not do as much because they made the constitution saving throw no or... it, no they did they it doesn't look like they made it the constitution saving throw okay they're just but it looks like naturally... they were resistant not immune yeah. right yeah. okay okay and yeah that's my turn so i didn't quite get the five uh sneak attacks in one turn but you know four's not bad Uh, so yeah. that is 50. All oh, right. All right, cool. Uh, Aoife, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to also hit blue dude, but I'm going to come up and do it from slightly further away. <laughs> with Tamara's presence. All right, sounds good. They used to stand behind Rain and be like, hold me back, Rain. Hold me and just hit me over the shoulder. <laughs> I've got... I'm trying to look at my key points. Um, I can also hold nobody back. <laughs> I believe I just have my arms out, not the whole awakened astral self. Uh, at the moment, I'm saving that. Uh, yeah, I'll just do uh, three attacks. Okay, sounds good. Oh, should not have advantage. Take that off. Um, uh, that was the first. Just hit have hit. Rain give you some extra. She'll just parcel it out. <laughs> okay. Uh. So twenty four, twenty four, twenty eight, four, twenty four, twenty eight. Excellent. Um. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh. Not at this time. Okay. Sounds good. Um, Simulacrum Zaitari. Yes, I'm going to cast another illusory dragon. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I mean, I'm I'm well within my rights to be able you to can. actually you cast can. another illusory dragon if I wanted to, but I won't. I will save uh, my Simulacrums. Um, he's level spell slot just in case. Um, let's see. Instead, I'm going to be summoning 16 owls. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that thing just kind of jumped up, like, on Rain, right? Um, yeah, it, it, it beelined Rain towards you guys. Rain wasn't there. Rain wasn't there, but it kind of beelined towards the group. Gotcha. Okay. Um, let me see. I just need to do some measuring. Nope, I don't need to do a cone again. Okay. So I'm going to move, I think, probably right there. Yeah, okay. So my simulacrum is going to move right here. Um, it is then going to Steel Wind Strike. Um, so first one is going to be against this guy, and we're essentially just going to work our way south. All right, so south. that is going to be plus 40. All right. How many does it go against five creatures? Five creatures. One, so two, three, four, going... five. Okay, so everybody, yeah. Yeah, so you're probably going. Yeah, this top guy, to bottom. So. Yep. Okay, got it. 
Um, Not everybody. Well, yeah, mo most people. Most people. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure you knew that there was. Yeah, I know that there was that guy to the left. Okay. Uh, so 67. That 14's going to miss. 31's good. 31's good, and that's this guy right here. Yeah, in front of Rain. Great. I need everybody to roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, fun. Um. As I calculate the last bit of damage, so... My, um... Simulacrum is going to end up right there at the end of it. Um, okay, I mark that off. I'm assuming this is not a spell. Nope, this is not a spell. 126. They're popping like they popped before. Um, That actually, I shouldn't have advantage on it. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so. Okay. Hang on. Um, I haven't but... rolled mine yet because I'm trying to find the freaking Shards of Dawn to see if I have a thing I can use. Um, but I will I... say, if I fail, I'm going to use Indomitable. Um, Actually, here, here. I'm quick, not. I lied. Quick question. Yeah. It's everybody in the room with this thing? Uh, so, including regular is... Zaitari? Yeah, so it'll be up okay. to 60 feet within the guy, the last guy you hit. Okay. So... Um, so, what is it? Um, Simulacrum Zaitari is going to use a charge out of the Ring of Evasion mm -hmm. um, to succeed on the saving throw instead okay. um, because I imagine that 15 fails um, and now I'm rolling for Rego that's also not great but uh, there's not much I can do about that <laughs> okay great um, let's see Rain pass, Aoife pass Melanie you did not pass because you had that on advantage unless you wanted to count the second roll as your roll um, you well, I don't... Actually, you know, if you don't mind, um, I'll just blow a luck. I have three luck. Um, if you want me to just um, strike a lucky and say I rerolled. Um, but um, I don't want to use Indomitable. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll just take the damage, honestly. Okay. Um, Zaitari, you're using the evasion for your simulacrum till the yep. you passed. Regular yes. Zaitari, I assume that's your 17, that's your roll? Correct. Okay. Uh, so Melanie and Zaitari take 87 points of damage. Oh, shit. What kind of damage? Uh, it is necrotic damage. So you, I think you're okay. okay. I do. I have. I did take my uh, potion of invulnerability, so that's halved. And then I also have necrotic resistance, so it's halved again. Okay. And you said it was how much? 87. 87. So those who have saved uh, will take uh, 43. Eight, one. Okay. I'm a rogue, so I don't want to. <laughs> right, you because you don't want to. <laughs> yep. It's understandable. I am also opting out. Okay. <laughs> um, and then for those who succeeded, do they take half or what? Uh, well, two of our guys have evasion. so, But those who have succeeded do take half, so 46. Okay. 43. Jesus Christ. Um, and that was one of these guys that blew up, right? Yep. Okay, I was looking down because I was crocheting, and I just wanted to make sure that I understood. So there's only one other one of that that okay. we see at this moment. Yeah, that you see at this moment. Okay. Uh, can I also have everybody please roll a... Let's see. What was the save for that? All right, so... Armor of Agathus is gone. And it's eight points to the main total. Okay. It is Math. A constitution saving throw. So everybody, uh, please roll a constitution saving throw. Right is now. this poison? Nope. Little baby. Can we know what it is? Nope. <laughs> okay. Little is it disease? Uh, let me take a look. Oh my god. Fucking Saitari. Um, okay. The 17 is the simulacrum. 23 um, is me. Um, 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 ew, let me see how many lux I had. I don't remember you using very many, if any, Eight so far. Just one. Um, I think it's six more. 
my constitution is so shit. You know what? Use it or lose it. I got one left. So I'll roll. I'll just I'm gonna roll a new twenty here. Hey, right, yeah, fourteen. Okay, I would just note that. Cool. Um, so I assume Simulacrum Vitari is done. Yeah. Uh, what was the con save? Uh, eighteen. Okay. I mean, the simulacrum failed. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Um, yep. Let's see. Uh, so, I'm sorry. How much damage did we take? You took 43. Did... If you were right, not resistant the constitution... to... The constitution is something else. Okay. Did I pass? Yeah, you pass. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? And you rolled your um, concentration check. I'm pretty sure it's pretty low, but... Oh, yeah, let me roll that for regular Zaitari. Um... Yeah, you're fine. All right. Okay. Let's see. The assisteds are oh. all going... Uh, Derek, oh, yep. did you say something happened for the failure of the concentration throw? I or... did not say anything Sorry. yet. Okay. Just to make sure he actually it. did say, quote, I'm going to note that for later, which is <laughs> terrifying. It means we're going to kill this. We're going to defeat this old one. We're going to split it up into pieces. We're going to turn the pieces into bunny rabbits and make stew. And it's going to be a happy day. And then you guys are going to take off your clothes to go take a shower. And you're like, oh, shit. Look at that cyst. <laughs> <laughs> no, what we're going to do is we're going to take off our clothes and then we're just going to disappear. Because we were written out of the timeline. Alright, so these uh, guys are going to... And our clothes were only the only thing keeping us oh. in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're called anchor items, Lynn. Don't you know it, 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 it's, <laughs> yeah, it's about trans-dimensional time travel? Exactly. Who's, it's... who's rolling out the red carpet right now? What is... Uh, what's up? I am, I am representing them spewing as this red strip. Blech. Yep. Mm. Just, just don't worry about it. Uh, they, they, since they can't get really closer to the trip, well, technically they could, is that getting close? I feel like that's getting closer, so he has to stay where he is. Um, as long as you stay however far away you are, you know, as long as Yeah, but this one can't get through this wall over here, so it would have to go around this I mean, area. again, they can spend an action to try to perceive my dragon as fake. Yeah, they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> They're really fucking stupid. They're just gonna vomit they, instead. They, they they are ooh ooh just people. Ooh, ooh. Are they doing like the the sea cucumber move where they're like, here's our guts. Don't don't eat us. Well, normally no. <laughs> normally this would go on to somebody. Uh, but because they can't get closer to you, uh, this is this is what's gonna have to happen. So is it? Does it seem to be staying in the area? Yes. Like, is that okay? It's some sort of something persistent. Okay, yes, it is persistent. By um, the way, uh, the second Constitution saving throw that I just rolled a second ago um, at advantage uh, is for keeping concentration on Aura of Life. Okay, sounds good. I presume a natural twenty is enough. Yes. Okay. So those guys are gonna throw up, um, and yeah, that, that that is their turn. Um, this sister, all right. Here's the problem with the sister. So can't get closer, but they can technically skirt around this thing, maybe. So if it goes around this way, can it see and no? <sighs> Issues. Issues, 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 issues. Um, I'm fine if they aren't able to see us. That's, you know, they. I, I get it. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be mad at them if do they. I have to have line of sight. Can I just do it? Mm. No. Okay. This isn't Nike. Um. <laughs> I can... Yeah, that's not the pantheon we're following. Come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does that technically work? Why don't you um, t 
tell us what you're thinking of. I can't and... because this is a this is this is a whole new spell book I'm working <laughs> off of. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? It's a, literally a new spell book I'm working off of. <laughs> Oh, uh, like it's like old magic, weird stuff. It's not, it's not a standard. Old magic. Okay. I'll let you know after this. <laughs> oh no! It's really fucking I didn't cool. Know after you're dead. It's really uh, fucking so cool, but what I'm hearing is this is cool, but I made more work for myself. Mm-hmm. I I've mm-hmm. been there. <laughs> yep. It doesn't Every say DM I'm... has done it, where they're like, for the aesthetic of the fight, and then in the middle of the fight, you're just sitting there staring at ten pages of notes, like, I should have streamlined this. Creature you can, you know, but then it's it like doesn't say I need sight for it. I'm so happy that, like, when I made, like, the decision to do a Strahd second phase, that I took away all of his spells and just made him Hulk mode. So I made it so much easier on myself. Yeah, all, I feel like, especially spellcasters, as a DM, it's such a pain in the ass. You've got so many things to juggle with mm-hmm. spellcasters. It, but it, I really like having Strahd and his bride doing so many walls of force on you guys in my Christian Strahd game. It's like, let me through. I'm like, no, it, wall of force. So I, it really doesn't say anything about line of sight. Okay. So, all right. Also, I mean... <laughs> It, you make your call, man. We we trust you. Okay, okay. You are so a fair DM. One, two, three. I mean, aside from making us crawl through intestines, which four, is fucking gross. Yeah. Well, I don't know if fair is fair, but they okay. let us get away with a lot of bullshit. I, 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 <laughs> so let's go two, two, four, six, eight, ten. All right. Zaitari, I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Okay. Just me? Just you. Okay. Just, I'm double checking something. 26. Okay. Good. Uh, <laughs> 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 so you only take that. Okay. Um, Can you tell me what that would have done if I failed? Uh, a lot more damage. Oh, okay. Actually, not on you though, because you're you're probably fine. As the uh, the cyst that was um, mm-hmm. planted on you before you entered Natosa mm. uh, terminates. Sorry, the what now? The cyst that was on Zaitari. Yeah, I'm guessing we probably all have one. I made notes of who has one. Mm. So I, know. So, I mean, to be I fair, a lot there were a lot of roles that we were making. Uh, yeah, Rain Rain probably has one too, since she was also going a little crazy. Yeah, yeah, like you guys had the madness thing happening. So Fuck. if you so on rolls, uh, eighty uh, necrotic damage if it you did not save. Uh, okay, so forty <sighs> instead. So I succeeded, so it's 40? Yes. Okay, all right, so half from invulnerability, half again, so okay, so 10 points. All right, so yeah. And let me make a con save. Okay, we're good. All Riga right. is still present. All right. Um, Melanie. Um, so... Just, I want to keep my aura of of stuff near people, but I also want to, like, you know, feel, you know, be up there doing stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and activate my uh, Giant's Might. Um, that's a bonus action. Um, so I am now huge, if you don't mind. Yep. Huge. And you know then uh, and that's my bonus action. Um for my action, let me uh fuck it. I'm just gonna go ahead and activate Storm Avatar. Um so I've got Hill Rune and Avatar of the Storm, because that one is an action. Yep, yep, yep. And then so Tilda, are you up on your broom in the air or always? Okay. 
<laughs> and now you said this was all open, but then you said there were walls. So basically the scribbled portions are open, yes, right? The They're like archways. Are open. Yes. Okay. Um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So I think I can go, if I go there, I'm kind of on top of Aoife. So I think there's better. Zaitari's still kind of in my aura. Um, and then I think that next turn I can get up and start wailing on that guy a little bit. So, okay. um, that's my turn. I'm not going to action, action surge or anything. All right. The behemoth who is... Don't forget the auras and everything that people popped. Well, and see, as a, as a bonus action, I can, um, uh, heal, but I used my bonus action to heal rune so that I'm taking half damage from anything that's physical. So, I was I was kind of just trying to decide what I wanted to do with my with my a bunch of bonus actions I have right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. It's also the there is beacon of hope up, so you guys also heal max when you do heal. Just mm. remember that. Yes, that's a good one to remember. The behemoth is gonna go here because the behemoth cannot be scared. Um, and now <laughs> behemoth Wait, just like man. moved. Yeah, it yeah. moved because it's its turn. It's its turn. I thought it was stuck to the wall. No. <laughs> okay. That doesn't mean first it can't all, move along the walls. First of all, it also has a uh, ten less uh, speed than it usually would because okay. of Ray of Frost. I hit it with Ray of Frost. Okay. Earlier. Does it get into whatever this? Red carpet? Yeah, it doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I would okay. assume it's probably immune. It's probably you never know. some sort of weird, horrible, you necrotic thing it's it. immune to. You never know. True. It's always That's good to true. check in. Um, actually, which, that... by the way, Darid, uh, red light. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> um, actually, <laughs> I don't, the... I don't consent anymore. The behemoth. Is it like on? legs is it floating how is it moving it's kind of like God, kind of I floating i guess okay okay that's yeah, better it's stuck than... to a wall but when it has to move it it picks up its skirts and there's just <laughs> two tiny little legs yo oh, that's <laughs> <worse>. <laughs> i don't like that i just imagine like the sweetest tinkling sound as it's kind of like lightly moving across the floor tinkling sound style how about we just imagine that it's that that cat that's like the oh lord it's coming cat. Mm. This is, the cyst is very bowed, uh, and you know because because you are now its only target, Tilda. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Yeah, it, you're the only one in, within reach now. I'm behind <laughs> a wall. Motherfucker. Yeah. This yeah, okay. <laughs> it's gonna oh try to God. claw you. It's going to try to... Excuse, what? It's gonna try to claw you. With his uh, tiny little feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so one was only a 13. Uh, the other one is a 30. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah. Shield? I know that's not. No, I'm kidding. I know that's, that's not. not good. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, what does shield get you up to? Twenty-four. Uh, I mean, that's not bad. Okay. No, it isn't. But <laughs> so you take uh seventeen seventeen points of slashing damage. Uh huh. And eight points of necrotic. Okay, so ultimately twenty-five points. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have to concentrate on that aura, or is it just persist? I do, yes. Um, so give me a second. I have advantage on concentration checks. All right, cool. 21. Nice. All right. Um, that is its turn for now. Uh, Rain. Um... I'm going to uh, avoiding the red walk up. 
Yeah. Give a little old stabby stab. Mm -hmm. And that's what the uh, you know, melee action, blah, 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 um, from haste. And uh, since Kinect John is still up uh, for the moment, mm -hmm. I'm going to back away. So let's. You know what? Just back up to here. And then I will hold my action to hit it with the crossbow bolt. Okay. Sounds good. Ideally. At the top of the turn, which we'll just and uh, that's not the right one. Hand crossbow. All right, uh, Zaitari. Yo. So Thirty-one to hit. I assume that hits. That does hit. So another thirty-three damage. Mm. Uh, well, thirty-three plus fourteen. All right. Forty-seven. Okay, sounds good. All right, now Zaitari's turn. Uh, bonus action. I'm gonna control Riga. Um, I'm just. I need a. Move up to 60 feet at any point during this moving using. Am I? We beacon to Pope, right? So I'll, as my yeah. bonus action on that turn, I will drink a potion of healing just to get use it. Um, which is 2d4 max 8. So 10. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me switch back to a cone. Convenient. Oh, whoops, that's not on me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> whoop. Ah, come on. Oh my god. This, the fucking measurement thing takes up so much of the goddamn screen. Yeah, it really does. Oh, I needed it to not stab to center. Uh, corner, thank you. Wouldn't quite. Well, this one um, isn't on the grid. If it was there. Oh, it probably would have been there, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so. I imagine that Riga's mouth is like right in front of the yellow one mm -hmm. and then essentially just going out from there to hit the rest of them. Okay. Um, and Tilda will be fine. Uh, so, again, um, lightning damage. So, everybody needs to roll a, um intelligence saving throw. Mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to beat a 23. So, what is the damage? Take a six. Uh, oh, whoops. That's not a, that's an S. Uh, 32. <laughs> All right. 32. And plus 32. There's apparently a dragon in my office right now because there are three, count them, three <laughs> shoe things. And Tano has all of them. Alright, so this one is the dead. And those two are still up. Alright, great. Alright, so that's the bonus action. Um, as my action... Zaitari is going to Um how are people looking health wise? Yeah, I've taken eighty seven hit points of damage. <laughs> mm, Mel should probably be healed up just because it's easier to Yeah, I'm about at Havsies. Okay, right I'm now. gonna um I'm gonna cast Mass Cure Wounds. Um, so it's going to roll it, but I'll, I'll calculate the, um, you heal max. Full, yeah. The yeah. full. All right. So that, what is that? Eight times three. 
Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four plus seven, so thirty one. Yeah. Everybody heal thirty one. I think that puts me. Yep, that puts me back at max. <laughs> um. Well, and I have a second wind. I just didn't have a bonus action on my last turn. So yeah. Uh, but I, I mean, I was thinking about healing anyways. I was just trying to decide what I wanted to use, pretty much. I so. Agree. Uh, and. We're just going to back up a little bit. Okay, I'm good. All right. And that's going to be the end of Zaitari's turn. Okay. Uh, Tilda. Okay. Um. You know what we should have done? We should have had some uh, either wizards or warlocks who could cast that. There's a couple summoning spells that you can just summon, and then if you don't control them, they just last for, like, what, a minute or whatever? And we could just be like, yeah, you don't need to control it. Just summon it inside the guy and mm -hmm. just let it just give him the worst uh, heartburn, you know, just <laughs> setting fire to his stomach lining. I mean, I I could have taken. Could I have taken gate? I don't even know. Now that I think about it, because in that case, we'll you know just get a Garistro in there and yeah, just... have and have a fun old time. <laughs> yeah, have fun, buddy. <laughs> um. Okay, I would like to. Uh... Mm. Um, give me a second. I need to draw a thing. Um. Is it a kitty cat that you're drawing? It is not. Mm, not I don't have that. that kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Talent. Mm. Skill. Um. Okay, 20 foot radius here would two, three, four, five, right? Um, no, excuse me, uh, twenty foot radius here would be bigger than that. Hang on, sorry. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, does that look about right? Um, Sort of. Whatever. It's fine. Um, I'm going to uh, cast Synaptic Static. Gooding, since we're in a brain. Hmm. All right. You thought or succeed then, right? So it can't affect uh, creatures with an intelligence score of two or lower. So I'm not super hopeful about the assisted, but. Maybe with some assistance. Uh -huh. Assistance. All right, this one is dead. Oh, it actually worked. I would guess they have an intelligence of whatever lets you speak, which is what, four? I think three. Three. Um, I bet. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Is that it? 
Um, no, I just need to know, like, so, uh, are we, like, uh, who, uh, did these things save? Yeah, they, 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 they all didn't save. They took damage. Okay, great. I don't know. You didn't say anything, so, um, that's a fifth level spell. Um, and, uh, I would like to use a Wand of Healing Word on somebody. I mean, um, I'm still at, like, a little under two-thirds. How's everybody else looking? I'm full. Full. I'm full. My simulacrum cannot be healed, right. so... Okay. Then I guess we're using uh, charge of the wand of healing word. It's just going to be one charge for right now. Fine. Um, so it's uh, a d4 plus three. That's seven hit points, not six. Okay. Thank you. For you. Uh-huh. And, um... If at all possible, I should like to uh, back up. Does your broom make a little beep, beep, beep sound when you back up? Sure, why not? <laughs> it's, it's quiet, though. It's, you know, it's not like a beep, beep. It's more like a <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> like a, like, I like that it's a nice, quiet, polite one. Yeah. Well, it's Tilda's broom, so of course it's like, <laughs> it has manners. Okay. Uh, and if it doesn't, uh, if it continues to not uh, hit me with a... Oh, it's going to hit It's going to attempt to try to do a okay. reaction to hit you. Uh, that is, I believe that's <gasps> 25. Damn it. Are you sure it's 25? Uh, yep, it is a 25. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... Yeah, that, that hits. Uh, that is 13 points of slashing damage and 7 points of necrotic damage. Okay. Um... So there go my temporary hit points again. Uh, DM, really quickly, can you remind me, is it temporary hit points um, refresh at the top of each round, or is it at the top of my turn? Do you, do you um, care? What does the spell say? I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, it'd be heroism, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, heroism. Uh, at the start of each of its turns. Okay. Okay, yeah. So at the start of my turn. Yep. Yep. Um, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Aoife. Actually, I'm going to move just a little bit this away. All right. Uh, this way. I'm going to save my key point still. So I'm just going to. What's the cat symbol? That's Simulacrum Zaitari. Yes. Yeah. That's oh, oh, okay. Neat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to scoot up to here. I'm going to attack the behemoth three times the same way I did the last one. Okay. Uh, so that is. All right. Last one misses, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so 22 plus 22 plus 21. Uh, okay. Um, so where um, is that guy? And so that would be... Oh, when I make a... When I roll an extra 20 on an attack roll with Tamara's presence, um, each creature of your choice within 60 feet of you must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, or it, become frightened. It, it doesn't matter. He's he's dead. 
Uh, so I need oh. Zaitari, Melanie, Semiolacrum, Zaitari, and Tilda to make uh, dexterity saving throws as this thing explodes. Um, all the other creatures are within 60 feet, though, so they can become frightened of me as well. Okay. Um, and you said a deck save? Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, lucky. All right. I'm going to do the simulacrum first. Okay. It's just a simulacrum. It's not you. You are not within reach. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I thought you said and Zaitari. No, no, just sim Zaitari. Uh, Rain's okay, too. So it's just All right. Uh, I imagine that 16 fails. Uh, 16 just makes it with this one. Oh, okay. Don't have to spend a point in the ring of evasion, then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, anybody who made uh, who didn't make a 16 uh, will take uh, the full amount of damage. Uh, so that is... That's only 18 points of necrotic damage. All right, so six... Three. No, so... No. Uh, eight. Half four. of 18 is nine. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, so it's still four. Okay, and that guy exploded. Cool. Um, and then the frightened thing. Oh, I think it's just those two guys that are left. I mean, they've been frightened of the dragon this whole goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> they get scared of me, too. Double fear. Get on opposite sides of them. <laughs> yeah, really, they can't do anything. <laughs> they just vibrate and then they explode. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um. Okay, uh, Aoife, are you all set? Yeah, that is my turn. All right, Simulacrum Zaitari. Um, is she able to see this? Oh, well, oh god damn it! Stupid fucking cones. Uh, this one here, we gotta move to uh, do that. You get, you gotta move because you got like a. Uh, okay, that. then I will um. Yeah, you got this have her move over, over to here, and then shoot that one. Yep, you can get that one. Okay, that's valid. Great. Um, Eldritch Blast. Okay, 14. Um, 17, and then 11. All right. Oh, sorry, she's not invisible. Great. Take that off. Um... Does anybody need any healing? Um, I mean, I'm still around two thirds, but I'm all right right now for for now. I'm at one hundred. Um, I could use. I'm about. That's about. Uh, I'd say two thirds of my health. But like, if something pops up with a power word or something like that. Uh, uh yeah. That's... Let's do a because I can a third level healing word. Um, so that's going to be 3d4, 12, 12 plus 5. 17. Yep. So again, heal 17. Gracias. Um, let me just see, where did I move from? That was from? me, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Better. Okay, so... 15 more feet. 15 more feet? For me to move. I know. No, I'm just moving. Feet, not oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and that'll be it for her. Okay. Excellent. Uh, the assisted. Let's see. I need to roll uh, D2. So, let's see. Two... One. One. Okay. Oh. So, uh, out from the blood Ugh. comes the stuff. So let's see what squirt spawns on. Gross. So one will spawn right there. 
It's not that big. Don't worry. Yikes. Okay. Oh. oh. And then that one will spawn right there. And this one oh. will spawn up here. And that one will spawn up there. Great. Excellent. Uh, as the uh, blood coagulates and becomes black bloody oozes. Uh, the yellow um, herald is going to point over there. And you see this uh, cis person like convulse and then explode. Hmm. Cool. Yep. Uh, and then he. Oh, sorry. They. <laughs> Because, you know, we can't can't assume what cis are. This is probably an it. It's probably an it. I think it's an it. Where's my token? I'm so sad. So. There it is. It's, this thing just exploded. Oh, yeah. That exploded and turned into okay. this. Ah. Ooh. Hey, look, it's another one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And it exploded out of one of the, the assisted? Yep. Yep. So this okay. guy, Just which was behind a wall, pointed at that assisted, and that assisted exploded and became a new behemoth ooze. Hooray! So we'll see when this guy goes. Okay. It isn't the circle of life beautiful? <laughs> it is. It is gorgeous. <laughs> Don't forget to... Uh... Uh, roll some initiatives for the little black pudding oozes. Oh, I already have. Well, They're going next turn. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Good to know. Just want to make sure. New behemoth. <laughs> or NB. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, this guy is also going to GTFO away from the dragon. Does the dragon get any, like, opportunity attacks or anything like that? Or is it illusory? Or actually, it can't because it's, like, it's, afraid, it's afraid of um, Aoife. So, yeah, it's just yep. going to stay there, I guess. Literally, the only direction it can go is, is this up. way. Yeah. No, it's, it's all right. Melanie! Yeah, the other behemoth um, dead. So, Melanie is going to um, go ahead and uh, fuck it. Uh, Melanie's Melanie's going. Melanie's going to do a Melanie. Um, do it. Our Melanie. That's what, we, that's what we count on. Uh, so I'm going to move here. Kind of right there, so I'm not in the dragon space. Uh, I'm gonna attack this guy, and um, so that is I don't get um, this guy is not frightened, right? Uh, no, he is. So, do I have advantage? Yes, hell yeah. And then let me do all of those hit. Um, I believe... Oh, cool. My holy damage went through. I'm. I, it's good. Yes. Uh, all those do hit. So let me do all of that. Uh, 21 plus 12. Uh, plus 26 plus 12. Uh, oh, way... hold on. That's not the right... Well... It's just that the slashing damage is actually lightning damage. Or oh, okay. whatever for my storm avatar thing. Uh, Let me just double check. Yep. I think it just changes the damage type, not the amount. Plus nine. I think so too. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, and I have another have bonus action I can do. Damage. What? Did that 146 damage? What kind of bullshit. <laughs> Fighter girl, <be> man. <laughs> oh, uh huh. Well, I've also got holy holy weapon on now. Yeah. So. Twenty-eight. 
does it actually take i'm assuming it does not take any extra damage from the holy does it uh it doesn't look like from it. radiant okay um, um so uh are, are you done calculating am yes, i yes. good to proceed yes all right so are you gonna are you going i'm to action surge <laughs> um and um sadly i don't get Wait, so it says on your turn you can take one additional action on top of your regular Anna. Okay, okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, 24, 29, 59, 62, 70. Oh, oh, and, uh, and nine. For my giant stature damage, because okay. I'm big. Okay, uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw then. Uh, okay. Is this against a spell or is he exploding? He's exploding. Okay. Oh, that shouldn't be an advantage. Um, no. <laughs> oh. I'll. Oh no. Yeah. Um, I'll just blow a lucky and reroll. Okay. Can the natural 20 be your reroll? I was going to assume it probably couldn't because I already saw it, but okay, damn. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we, 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 you rerolled the last one. Oh, oh look, you're, you're fine. Oh. You're fine. Well, my last lucky, I, I rolled really high, so that's, <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Okay. Um, um, Oh, did it take all the hits before it exploded, or did I have one or two left uh, on that last? I think you had the last hit left. Um, I don't think I have anybody in range, but let me just... Okay. No, I don't. Um, um, it's a good thing you saved. Oh, God. Uh, you would oh, have God. taken 108 necrotic damage. Oh, but wow. now you only take 54. All right. Oh, wow. Mine I'm 54. guessing whatever aura you have is gone. Uh, I'm not concentrating on it. Oh, it's, it's a glyph. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um. By the way, yeah. Don't forget about the aura vital aura of vitality that you're. Uh, yeah, I have like exuding. I currently have one, two, three, four, uh, like seven bonus actions I could do, and it's one of I, them. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why. I don't know why I did this to myself. Um. <laughs> you what you I did this. Uh, I I chose it. I just put way too many things that I can do as bonus action right now. Um, what I... I actually am going to... Um, hold on, I need to see... How many hit points my... Oh, is Spider for Second Wind go in? It, uh, 1d10 at Fighter level? Plus your whatever your fighter level is. Which okay, is. okay. So it'd be one d ten plus twenty. So it'd be thirty versus um the aura of vitality, oh. which is what two d six, just 2D6, six, which would be twelve. So I'll go ahead and second wind and just gain thirty, and that'll be my bonus action, uh, and I, which I haven't taken yet. And um, I believe that's my turn because I don't have anybody else I could strike with that last strike because I don't have any movement speed. Who else got hit with the uh, blast? Anybody? Um, I don't think so. no. You're I... you're the only one really up there. Perfect. That well, I wasn't sure if it. Uh, and then there's like if the wall it went through walls. Here. Well, with it being old god bullshit, I didn't know if that explosion would go through anything or whatnot. I didn't know if it was some sort of magical effect that went through walls i, I mean know. if 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 like if it went through walls ifa would have gotten hit too i'm glad that it doesn't go through walls it would have been fine if i got hit yeah but i'm glad that you didn't i'd prefer if fewer people get hit with the massive fucking explosions <laughs> i bet they're all deck saves it's fine for some of us yeah, me, which is why it's okay <laughs> if I get hit. <laughs> All 
Uh, we didn't have cat story time today, so I didn't get to tell you guys about my purchase for Luke, so I'll have to tell you guys about that later. Um, are you all set, Melanie? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Rain, what would you like to do? Well, you heard um, you 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 heard multi, you heard an explosion behind a wall. Yeah, yeah, it seems normal. I'm yeah, assuming you also heard Mel yeah yell like yeah that's right eat shit motherfucker or something like just <laughs> really seems pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hmm. I don't... All right, I'm just gonna zoom up here, staying out of anything red. I'm going to, you know what, let's just, hmm, other people have things I can do. I'm going to shoot the big guy, other people's jobs to do AOE stuff, it's not my job. <laughs> I mean, single target is, is your, your yeah. moment to shine, let's be honest. Uh, oh, that not cro What the fuck? Boy, am I <laughs> breaking out the crawl plate? <laughs> uh, twenty-two to hit. Uh, yep. And then uh, sneaky tacky. So another thirty-seven. So forty-seven. And then I'm going to. Step back, hold my turn, hit it at the top of its turn. Uh, the next turn, I should say. And I'll just roll that now. Alrighty, and maybe another 65. Okay. And... Um... You know what? I don't think I really need it, but I might as well use this shit since we got it. I am just gonna slam. Uh, let's see what looks good. Hmm. I'm going to slam. Uh, the. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, the uh. The oh. Ode potion to give me a plus one to death saving throws. This seems to be going too well. Got four <laughs> of them, I will use them. And that's uh, yeah, that's it. I'm at full health, I trust nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I am reading a book in which somebody had to crawl out a sphincter, so, <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm prepared for whatever needs to happen. Yuck. <laughs> I, I agree completely. Was it a, was it on a nautiloid? That's the sphincter? <laughs> it was not. <laughs> that, that word really does show up way more in the beginning, in the, like, the tutorial section of Baldur's Gate contains the word sphincter more than I've seen it, like, ever before in my life. So, <laughs> that was fun. Um, okay, are you done with your turn? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Zaitari. 
Yo. Uh. Yeah, I mean, because I have Rhea up. Um, bonus, I'm gonna move, gonna move her. She's gonna go through here and then go up to here, um, and do a breath attack on this guy. Mm -hmm. So, in saving throw. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's 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 assist. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Okay, that's twenty four points no of lightning damage. There are no to this int save. <laughs> I would imagine not. That was another reason kind of why I picked Illusory Dragon over everything else, because its damage is int save base, which is excellent. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and then for my action after I move Saitari, yeah, I should be able to essentially get myself right here. And then, Oh, actually, quick question. What's go? Uh, I must have missed it. What's going on with these uh, black thingies? Um, so the cysted has, cysteds had had thrown up in that area, and then yeah. these little like blood oozes, black blood oozes formed from the uh, remnants of that. Ah, they haven't gotcha. acted yet because they just formed at the start of the cysted's turn. Okay, then with the breath attack, it would have hit these two as well. Okay. Um. Yeah, they're oozes. Because it is a cone. Yeah, it did. They're they're oozes. They're not. There's not much to. Uh, so they're twenty four. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and yeah, with my action. Oh, I keep looking at the simulacrum spells. I'm like, how did I use so many spells? <laughs> um, God, all my AOE spells are high level. Um, except for Steel Wind Strike, and that gets me in danger distance, so I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, since these are really close to um, Aoife, I'm going to target these two, starting with the one closest to me. Okay. Um, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> I'm like... Essentially predicting if I kill it, essentially I'll move on to the next one. Okay. Probably not. Um, but anyways, it's Eldritch Blast. Um, and these are going to have Hex applied to them because of the Shade Leaf herb. Um, hold on. I need to do that again. Um, just for the damage because I used... Actually, just add, just add uh, two to that okay. damage so because you know you I rolled with the simulacrum. I'm sorry. Um, this one. Okay. Um, so that is nine. So 11. <laughs> Actually, can I change my mind with that? Okay. I'm so sorry. No, that's fine. Um, I'm actually just going to get right in front of it because they're in it. They're in a lovely little line they are for in me. A line. Yes, yes. Um, so I'm gonna use my planar rapier, um, and expend a charge to extend it, um, so that it'll hit the one in the back too, mm -hmm. or like you know right behind it. Yep. So, <sighs> um. I'm just seeing if I have to roll another attack roll for this. Yeah, okay, I need to make one more attack roll. Um, so it's... Okay, it's 22 to hit. Oh yeah, um, that will hit, yeah. Okay, so if it's okay, they can both just take that 11 plus 12 okay. yeah, force damage. perfectly fine. I just imagine they would probably would probably do like similar damage, mm -hmm. um, and I'm essentially I'm going to do the same exact thing for the 
for my second attack. Um, 17, yep, um, yep, yep, so 20 additional, good, so that is 44, and that is 43, excellent. Right. Um, they are also affected by the hex effect of the shade leaf herb with a weapon attack, mm -hmm. so, so let me, know. Let me... Yeah. I'm going to roll separately for both of them. Okay. Um, so the first hit would have done 10. All right, 53 internal. And 10 again. Okay, that's that makes it really easy to calculate then. Oop. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, are you done with your turn? Yes. Okay, Tilda. Um, well, damn. Uh, I will use a... Um, I'm going to cast Magic Missile. Okay. At second level. Actually, no. I'm just going to do it at first because I'm just trying to get these little guys um, right now. And they've already been hit a bit, mm -hmm. so... Um, magic missile. A grand total of six force damage. Wow. Which one That's are rough. you hitting? Uh, the one in front. Okay. So that one say. is gone. And then if there's anything left over, get the guy in the back. But um, Also, I'm starting to fall asleep. So I might need to uh, duck out early. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm just having trouble keeping my eyes open. We get it. Over here, so... Um, if anyone needs healing, um, I'm going to move up sort of into this corner. Okay. Um, so that everybody's still within my aura. Um, anybody need healing? I mean, I could use some, but I'm also not starving for it if anybody else needs any. Um, I'm not sure if I can get you with a wand. Then just uh, leave it, it's fine. So I'm gonna do one charge for me then. Um, which will be seven. Hello? Plus seven. Okay. Um. And that's all I got. Um. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I'm gonna go. Okay. Uh. Hope everybody has a good rest of the night. Yeah, rest up. Jared, again, I'm sorry. Yep, uh, no problem. I apologize. Talk to y'all later. Get some rest. Okay. Um, Aoife. Um. Let's start by hitting this one. Okay, sounds good. It's dead. Cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna start like hopping over. I'm gonna go over there. I'm not gonna measure. I have 75 feet of movement. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you can. You can yeah, you're fine. Um, 
Um, so that's 25. That one's still alive? Yep. It's dead. <laughs> and then I'm going to move out of the way a little bit further for other folks, and that's my turn. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Simulacrum Zaitari. <sighs> um... Simulacrum Zaitari is going to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, go up to there. Um, and do four Eldritch Blasts against this big, big boy. Mm -hmm. I need to use the Simulacrum Sheet. There, things are different. Ugh. I keep opening them interchangeably. I'm like, no, I can't do that. Okay. I see it. Well, actually, does anybody need any healing? I need. Is there fucking anything that 74 is divided by, a, a divisible by, except for two? Motherfucker, there's not. 37 is a shitty number. Uh, you, you were here hitting the behemoth, I assume, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, 12, 12. Yeah, but if anybody needs any healing, I can toss out a bonus action. Uh, I just need to know who to funnel it to. It's all full. Um, I'm I'm at 106. So if you want to toss months on my way, my way, you can. Sure. Um, I'll toss you a third level um healing word. Um, it's what 24. So that's 3d4 plus five. 17. Yep. Oh yeah, it was a different spell you did last time. That was a different one. Yep. Okay. That was that was mass cure wounds. A hey. Okay. Uh is that Simulacrum's uh Zaitari's turn? Um Yes. Okay, great. Uh, the behemoth, uh, seeing there is one target next to it, uh, is going to attempt to claw you twice. The, uh, Aoife. Uh, it rolled a 1 on the first attack, but it rolled a 30 on the second attack. Oh, okay. Uh, you shall take... Uh, 14 slashing damage... And nine necrotic damage. I have taken my first bit of damage. Uh, it is now going to move. Hold on. Can I hit it? You you, may, you can. Uh, it's going to go move this way. No, it's not Sentinel. Sit down. <laughs> All right. Uh, 23. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, Melanie, it is your turn. Okay, let me take this thing out of my mouth one second. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, it, it was just, it's just a stitch marker. Um, mm. but I, it's hard to talk with things in your mouth. Um, uh, um, oh, I can't tell if the assisted are all gone or if they're underneath their red spots. Are they gone? They're gone. Except for, like, the one... Like, the cystids have been taken care of. This turned into a behemoth and yeah. one blood thing back. But the cystids, in essence, are all gone. Okay, alright. I just... The the red was on top of one of them earlier, and I, I just wanted to make sure that one was also dead. Um, so, could I um, just, like, as part of my movement, oh, yeah. uh, just kind of grab rain <laughs> just kind of like yeah and and, <laughs> and like i'm i'm imagining that she just kind of like wraps an arm around her waist and just kind of picks her up like you would pick her up like a i don't know an, a irritable toddler and you're just kind of like toddler, and then i want to yeah you can do that yeah exactly and then i'm just gonna thunderbird dive over here so i'm going over all the stuff 
And then I'm just going to yeah. plop rain down, like, right here, if I can. Is that a, is that a usable square? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, the, the, you can put it there. I'm not going to say Yeah. yeah. Um, or if needed, I can go one square back. If that's... Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And that way we can put rain right there. If Melanie holds rain out and rain puts her her dagger out. Can she stab with me in the thunder? Pretend I'm just kind of sneaking that. No, no. So I'm using the no, rope no. as a weapon. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not that. <laughs> not that's some. That's some three point five shit right there. <laughs> Are we gonna build a present w rail gun? <laughs> uh, um, and then um, Melanie is just gonna go ahead and start start giving this guy the womp womps. Mm -hmm. Um. So, um, do I have flanking with Aoife? I think Aoife's one square away from it. But with her arm, she has reach, right? I do. I My arms and Tamara's presence, both are reach weapons. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, flanking or no? Uh, Leia, baby. <laughs> I would... In this case, I would say no. That's fine. That, and there's that a, absolutely there's a fine. console right there, so. Ooh, I got a crit. That's what I'm going to put my giant stature damage on, so that's on that one. I need to and count then... uh, So that's 37. <laughs> oh, you got like a bless. So I have to say, why does this 39 hit for this? Plus 10, I'll do it. 38. And then that is okay. So it will explode. Sure. So I do need a deck save from you and Efa. Efa probably like ninja. Yeah. Also, I'm over there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> You're welcome, <laughs> honeymoon. <laughs> uh, gonna use my last. Lu well, actually, it didn't do that much last time. Um, I'm not gonna use my last lucky. I lied. I don't. I don't want to use the last one. Okay. Um. So that's twenty. So twenty points. Um. If you didn't make it, which it's necrotic damage. What was the save? Uh, the save was only sixteen. Okay. So you're fine. Because evasion. Um. Uh, now, did it? Did it take all of my hits? Yes. It, it's. 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 It's dead. It exploded. Okay. Well, I was making sure that all of my hits were needed, because if not, I was going to put the last one on, on little Blood Boy there. Yeah, but I'm, I'm sure your wife will take care of it. <laughs> Probably. Are you done with your turn? I am. Okay. Go ahead, honey. Your wife took care of it. <laughs> <laughs> and we are out of combat for now. Gotta find those nodes that I gotta start hitting. Um, before we um, before Beacon of Hope runs out, which I realize will be like a what? It's like a minute or ten minutes or whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drink um my healing potion Nobody because mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah. who, who, who has the vitality? Oh, I do. Um. So, so you I got can... about five turns to that left. A beacon of hope's also one minute, so. Um, um, uh, so I I heal forty from the potion, plus forty, and then um, how many rounds were we in combat? Four. Four. Three. So we would have six more rounds of time Four. on it. Um. So the RO vitality is um, a, up to 12. So I could do 12 hit points six times unless we go back into combat. Um, does anybody else need healing other than me? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. I will just drop 72 hit points on myself. And that gets me up to... Oh, exactly full! How neat. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, I'm looking for. So you're looking for a node? Five times? Yep. Um, myself and the simulacrum are going to take turns uh, giving Aoife, um, you know, bardic inspiration. Uh, bardic inspiration. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll start with myself. What karaoke duet do you guys sing? <laughs> You guys can do a duet with each other. What? We can do a duet. I don't know. And Ro isn't here, so she can't help me come up with any, literally the name of any duet. So, <laughs> do you want me just to just start rolling? Yes, please. It's a Simon and Garfunkel song. Bridge over troubled water. <laughs> sure. Okay. So perceiving where your key is, your key areas are. Is that one successful? It is not. It's fine. As long as nothing else comes in here, I can keep trying. All right. That is successful. One. Two. Two. <laughs> Odin. Odin. Three. Four. Four. <laughs> oh. That is not successful. <laughs> Five. Okay, great. Um, as you land your final hit on this uh, brain wall, uh, the entire Entire body that you are in begins to violently tremble. Cool. I need everybody to roll a. I need everybody to roll a wisdom saving throw. I'll roll one for row two. I completely <laughs> forgot that I have advantage on wisdom right now. It's all good. I mean, it, it's good for you, I assume. Yeah, 28 for me. I used an inspiration on that. Okay. Um, let me do Sona's. Sorry, I had to get up to distract my cat. As this behemoth of a sheet loads. Oh boy. Yeah. After after this like after this campaign is over, I might start playing around with Foundry cuz I really like Foundry. I like Foundry, but there's a lot more of a learning curve in running it cuz you've got to put so many modules in. But once you get them set up, it's it's not bad. But I'm still trying to learn how to use it myself as a, as a DM, not as a player. As a player, it's not bad. But I mean, all I know is, is set, setting up your walls for maps if you want to do dynamic lighting is just so... it That's worth the $50 alone to me. <laughs> My, the big sell for me was that it's not subscription because... Yeah, that too. I, I just don't want to pay Roll20 a month, uh, every time. Like, it's just, I don't want to pay them forever. That's just yeah, dumb. And, uh, especially when, like, I could spend... 50 bucks up front on Pathfinder, or sorry, not Pathfinder, uh, Foundry. And it had all of the features that you can use finally now on Roll20. Exactly. <laughs> and I got it like three years ago or so. So. Well, and you can import the maps that have the JSON files. Yeah. Um, and you can't do that on roll 20 unless you pay the highest tier not just the paid tier mm -hmm. which is lame <laughs> the 
the uh, the computer hates me right now for Tilda's role, so I'm I'm gonna just make a note for it later. I mean, um, we could always just you could always just roll a d20 and we could add her mod. Does anybody know what her mod is off the top of their head? <laughs> for what? Yeah. Her wisdom mod. It's probably very it's, good. That's probably it's probably comparable to mine, which is plus thirteen. I mean, I have Tilda's sheet. Hold on, I'll open it. Yeah, it's just not... It hates me right now. All right, I'm gonna have to reload and see. Uh, I got it. It loaded. Um, Yeah, she has a plus three to her wisdom. To her wisdom saves? Yes. Okay. Oh, sorry, to her wisdom saves? Yeah. A plus yeah. ten. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna roll then. Well, that is a, uh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Oh, but she'd have advantage. That is true. From Hero's Feast. All right. Roll d20 plus 10. <laughs> Slightly better. a hundred percent increase. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll jot that down for next time. Um, 16. Um, I take no responsibility. Uh, it was out of my hand. We're gonna say, Ro did have portent rolls of 10, 4, and 9. Since she's not here, do we think she would have used it for Well, it doesn't matter. She rolled a... Oh, no, she rolled a 3 or a 6. Um, I don't know if she would have or not. I mean, I feel like with a plus 10, she may not have... But if you guys feel like what she would have, I mean that's let's just say she would have. Let's let's give her uh where's her port tendrils? There uh, she said she, she, she wrote bad, it down bad. to ten ten, four, and a nine. She said that's what she left. Um I'll use it we'll use the ten. So it's a twenty. To be fair, there's it's... not a lot we could use those rolls for anyway. Yeah, so yeah, it's actually it's really good rolls. for saves. So it it probably would have been something she would have done. Yeah. Okay. Um, as this is happening, um, Zaitari, you get ascending. Oh, um, boy. It is... I'm, as I'm ascending? Am I becoming a god? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes! You are not ascending. Okay. You have not... We have to interrupt the ritual. <laughs> I've, I've finally been recognized for the goddess that I am. Uh, but it's the frog behemoth god, so... I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'll take it. I still have worshippers. That's, you know... Listen, I have divine power. That... Um, it is the... Uh, it was, it's from Lutin. Um, mm -hmm. the, the wizard from... The war wizard from the Exalted. She was one of... She was probably one of the groups that had went in. Um, mm -hmm. And... The message says, uh, get <laughs> out now. Uh, cutting has begun. <laughs> okay. Um, I will, uh, essentially do, like, a motion, uh, and use minor illusion, like, a, a motion with my hands, and it's gonna, there's gonna be, like, a light at the tip of my finger that's like, all right, let's go, everybody gather up, gather up. <laughs> it's whatever symbol we agreed on where it's time to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, and, um, so everybody will gather up, and I will have uh, Simulacum Zaitari cast Teleport okay. um, and get us back onto the shore. Okay. Uh, when you teleport everybody back to the shore, so I'll totally throw you back to the battlefield map. And this this teleportation spot would have been something we would have established during like the yeah. planning and debriefing. It's like, this is the location. This is yep. the location. Uh, everybody meets up after the uh, fire alarms go off. Um, <laughs> just make sure everybody is accounted for. Do not go get coffee while we are counting people because apparently do that and do not stay by your experiments <laughs> while the fire alarm yeah, goes man. off you have no idea how many times i've had to tell people to leave their experiments while the fire alarms go off oh i'm sure 
all the time. I'm sure every single time you have to fucking do that any time that there's a fire alarm. I, yes. So All right. So, as you are leaving, uh you see the you see there are already several groups uh that were assigned uh on the shoreline that have teleported with you guys. Um of the 14 groups that went in, uh, there are... How many did you say that went in? 14 groups went in. Okay. Uh, 14 groups went in, 9 made it back. It's higher than I thought it would be. Um, it's higher than nine groups made it back uh, alive. Um, whether or not the where the other five are, you are not sure. Uh, the colossal entity known as the God Slayer has begun raising its massive blade and with a blinding burst of energy that envelops the battlefield behind you, uh, it begins to fracture the godly essence that is Natosa. Um, you guys were aiming for seven pieces, I believe, uh, for this. It, it, correct me if I'm wrong. It, it's been a long, long it has been. stage. I, I, I believe it is seven pieces. Okay. Um, of of the seven of the pieces you were able to get, you were you are able to you are able uh, to successfully cut this thing up into five. Man, it's a little bigger than you want for each piece, but it's still you know you're dividing an old god into five pieces. Whatever these things turn into, it's still going to be magnitudes below what Natosa as an ent whole entity is. Uh, now comes the, now along with the uh, giant slayer, you have some of the storm giants helping out. Uh, there are the guardian dragons and Jonah able, able to pitch in. Um, You may, if you wish, uh, signal the Exalted to proceed with the next part of the plan, which was yeah, Grim so. uh, casting uh, Divine Intervention. You would just need to tell me what exactly... Hold on. Let me bring up Divine Intervention. I think, I, I think we agreed to have the Divine Intervention take us and the pieces somewhere that we could successfully complete this um transmutation mm -hmm. okay. because essentially fight here take it elsewhere to get the shit done because mm -hmm. that's just how it that's just how it had to happen all right um divine intervention there we go uh, level 20 succeeds automatically. You want him, you want Morden to bring all five of these pieces to an area to transform this motherfucker into whatever smaller beings it would be. I My suggestion was to ask for the means to do it. That way he might just like give us some power to do it, but we could also ask for the transport. 
like the transport was the one we thought was going to be most reliable because we could just he could basically just give us gate and get us okay. where we need to be. Uh, that actually makes sense. Yeah, essentially, you know, take the pieces and all the people necessary to be able to perform the rituals to do it because a gate a gate spell would make the most sense. All the bits and the people, might my wisdom. <laughs> Okay, uh, then he will, Morden will basically arcane gate everybody here. <laughs> Damn. Um, to yeah. the ley line point number, it, the ley line point uh, in Rober. Because it is, the, oh, okay. it is the one that has the most ley line points on land currently. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate being put on land. Um, yeah, I mean, land would be nice. I, I assume, you know, it would suck to be teleported into the ocean. I feel like that yeah. would be a dick move that some gods would do, but... Um, but, you know, you, you did more it in the solid by giving him a giant death mecha robot. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> Um, so you are all transported to the bright. I will say, sunny... yes. Throwing this out here, him better him than Bane. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you know, there's that. <laughs> not wrong. I mean, you're not wrong. After all of us have experienced what Bane is like, though he's kind of yeah. an idiot. Um, but hey, whatever. And yet, still somehow the most competent of the three. <laughs> oh, Baldur's Gate reference. Okay. Yeah. I haven't gotten that. I mean, far. we all met our favorite gods, Char, Bane. <laughs> I just have to introduce you guys to Merkel and 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 Ball, and that'll be great. No, please. <laughs> I think we're all traumatized from Ball after Baldur's Gate three. We do not <laughs> need to meet him. Though I wouldn't mind playing an evil campaign where everybody's a ball spawn. <laughs> so we all I mean, kill each other. Basically, it was like Baldur's Gate one. Because you multi ran into multiple. But anyways, so you arrive into sunny, hot... California. California rober. Uh, <laughs> where the where the, the word to go, uh, where the water is not plentiful. Where you have a massive nexus point in order to change your five pieces into something else. Um... So immediately, once people, once everybody is dropped, um, the folks from Inculta get to work. They are starting to, uh, and you know, any assistance is appreciated. Uh, they are starting to inscribe runes on the ground. They have preclusium um, paint that they have used the minerals. They grinded it up and made it into like literal paint to paint onto the. Thankfully, rock desert floor, not sand desert floor. This might be a problem if there was a sand desert floor right now. Um, I feel like we could probably magically fix that if needed. Um, Mel will um, use like her last giant smite and um, become huge to try when it is a good time. Like she'll kind of like find when is it a good time for me to be heave hoeing, you know, myself and you know a large group of others some of these pieces around to the best spots. So she's going to try to just use her strength as, um, you know, assistance in this. Okay. Um, you uh, see uh, Noah's also doing this as well. Um, uh, Aoife knows she can't help at this point. This is beyond her. But she is going to start taking, um, I guess, catalog or registry of the groups that did make it out mm -hmm. and start specifically noting down the ones that did not. All right. So the ones that the 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 most glaring to you that did not make it out, Latu did not make it. He was the um, way of long death Arakoa. Yeah. Mm. Um, um. Is there anybody that has the spell slots that we could have them send send things to see? Oh well, I guess we chopped this motherfucker into bits. So yeah, they're gonna they're gonna become they... part of it when it gets turned. Oh god, that sucks ass. I mean, 
I mean, so did, many, we so, hope the needs of the few. Um, I mean, uh, here, here's here's a question: Do we have anybody else who can do another divine intervention? Because we could ask if we could get the bodies out if they're recoverable from the pieces that we have. I mean, and then if not, then well, it sucks to be them. I don't know. We gotta save the world. <laughs> um, I mean, Tilda could try to do a divine intervention. It's just a low. It's a higher DC for her. No, she's not high enough level cleric. To have that feature. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Um, uh, Cause I remember, I, I think we got confirmation that, um, no, oh my God. I mean, at this point, a lot of it might've been was like an broken cleric? down and digested. Oh, um, so... Kasov. Um, yeah. Kasov might be able to do it, but he has to roll. Yeah, it would it would be a we can see. Yeah, you know what I mean? If you want him to do yeah. it, he will try. We might as well try. Brain. All right. Then, uh, then one of you it. roll a d100. Sure. Nope. <laughs> really? <laughs> if no. only it was that the, way yeah, the other way around. <laughs> it would have been it would have been great, but unfortunately, you got 99 no. problems. But a divine intervention ain't one. Yeah, I'm. I'm not expecting us to be able to recover the bodies at all. So that's why, while everybody's here and kind of focused, I'm taking head counts and attendance, and uh, so that they can be properly remembered once this is all done. Because I can't do shit with glyphs. So, um, but yeah, everybody moves in position to um do this. Can I get five D one hundred rolls, please? I'll How do many one. Over here, should we each do one? You should each do one. So from here on out, each one of you should do one. All right. All right. You got thirty six. You got forty. 40. We have another thirty six. We had thirty five. Wow, we we are doing such an it, it is statistically I, unlikely average that we are uh, rolling I will, I will these. I do one. For the fifth. Six, 30, six, one for seven. row. Yep, one for row. All right, great. All right. As everybody is working and getting these, uh, getting these runes into position, um... So let me, I need to look at my table again. Yeah, Rain can't really do much, but I imagine that with the foresight, I'm just like seeing problems happen before they happen, you know, like things spilling or moving or tripping and it's like stopping it, you know? I don't, what's up? Like Fry when he drinks too much coffee. Okay. Um. So for the two two thirty sixes. Um. Oh my God! Wait, was this this table for what he fucking turns into? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no! Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. So okay. Well, we have one. two of the same thing. That's crazy. You gotta show us this, um... Yeah, you gotta, you gotta share this yeah. table. Okay, um... <laughs> Alright, uh, we got two of those. Really? <laughs> yes. Um... Does the 35 also count as the 36? Are they <laughs> clustered by twos like that? Uh, I'm, you, 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 you. I want I need to see what increments I, I need to see what increments I ended up doing because I 
it's a it's a loose table. Um, if it's clustered by twos and we have three of the same thing, is that's very funny and statistically unlikely. Really? Oh boy. Um. I can't tell if this old boy like scared How many people old older boy, did like, we make? Weird. <laughs> This is really okay, 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 okay. Um, I'm going. I'm going. Are like are like three potted plants. Or something. <laughs> I'm like, not again. <laughs> <laughs> so you watch in kind of horror and and awe as uh, as from. Three of the pieces. Oh my god! You get what I need to describe this because I don't oh know my if you, god. Got, you guys have seen this before. Um, essentially, you a person made of larva. Yeah. Oh, it's one of Fun those. Of oh, okay. So you have three of those. Congrats. They're called yeah, like they're they're, they're called like worm mage. in the yeah they're they're larval mages but star spawn star spawn that's it thank um, you okay for the other one you got what is that what does it look like <laughs> I can't believe wow three star spawn yeah you have three star spawn congratulations. Those are not going to be easy to kill. <laughs> Wait, we've got to kill this stuff? Yeah. The whole point of this this thing was to turn it into something that can be killed without wiping out the plane. Oh, I thought that when it died, it was going to turn into something that was not evil and was just going to fucking leave. No, whatever it was turning into was going to be destroyed. Oh, shit. Somehow forgot that part. If he had turned into like a vase or something, that'd be pretty easy to destroy. Yeah, I mean that's. But... I mean, is it though? Because at what point is a vase destroyed? I mean, when if you, you grind can put it, it down back together, and... <laughs> it's when you grind it down and then start to melt the the heat susceptible pieces into glass. Oh yeah, see that would be that would be my. Um, my there is yeah, a dragon was... of cracked scales creak with. That creak with a a, a, a very frightening patient power. Um, some of the or horns are ancient and brittle, while others are pristine. Uh, somebody can roll an arcana check to see what kind of because this is. I'll one... roll it for Tilda yeah. since I have her sheet open. That is a twenty-five. Okay. Um. Uh, this is known in legends. As a time dragon. Oh my... What? <laughs> We're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Darren. I'm sorry! I, I wrote these on the sheet! <laughs> Alright, and then you got the 70, which is... Potted plant, potted plant, potted plant, potted it's, plant. <laughs> it's of equal power! <laughs> it's a big plant! <laughs> More. We have to kill the. Uh, I imagine that they're probably something like larva mages. Uh, we need to kill say, them yeah, first. If they're spell casters, we need to get rid of this. Let's focus down spell casters one by one. Wait, but how many of us are here? Other like There's other than us. There's a lot of you here. So um, nine teams made. I mean, and all the teams economy... have like five or so people. I mean, action economy is kind of in our favor, depending on who who's fighting what. Obviously, of course, it... the dragon's also real bad too, especially if DM goes full. You know, like most people do not use dragons as bad as they can be used. Oh yeah, yeah, you can really fuck people with dragons. <laughs> we definitely really want to kill the star spawn. Are anything to fuck with, and the especially fiend. the mages and the pit fiend. Oh, okay. Okay, so. 
I feel like that's the, the least scary one. I mean, like, not like I'm, like, thrilled, but... Star Spawn are going to be tough, but we should be um, a high enough level and a high enough, large, like, a large enough number of people that we sh- the Star Spawn should be okay. But it's still very funny that we're looking at this lineup and going, oh, the Pit Fiend, that's the easy one. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm from the depths. Shut up. Not that for you. <laughs> Look, okay. we we will get to you. Take a number. <laughs> uh, actually, DM, mm-hmm. are the pieces uh, aggressive to everything, including each other? Um, that's a good point. Hmm. And I'm really I realize like maybe the star spawn wouldn't be um, aggressive to each other, but like, is the pit fiend aggressive to the star spawn? Can we watch you play action figures with yourself? <laughs> I mean, three spawn. The thing is, that reason I'm saying no. (laughs) If if the star spawn aren't part of the same hive mind, then yes, they would definitely be (laughs) aggressive to each other. Well, it's not. That's that's a DM choice, though. Yeah, I need to I need to figure out what is happening with these star spawn because. Of course, I didn't think about what if you spawn three of the same three thing, of them, and they happen to be star spawn. <sighs> I mean, I imagine that they're larva mages because we're fighting a pit fiend and a fucking. I mean, I think it's funny. Also, mm. if we need to, and also on brand. <laughs> if if we need to, like, if you want to take like five or ten to like get your shit together before we move on like as a dm been there if you need a minute yeah like, could you give me it. 10 minutes to figure out what i'm gonna do like take yeah, take, a, take a five take a take a five minute break i'm i'm, I'm gonna make some dice rolls i <laughs> i don't know hey, yeah been there yeah. I, that's why i mentioned it i was like you know what this sounds like a lot let's yeah. give her a yeah. second give, give me, give, <laughs> Come back, come back at 10, 10, 10, 20. Well, well, Sounds good. I'm going to get, I'm going to get something to drink. I will be back in 10. I'm going to get a, maybe a snack or something. I don't okay. know. Here's what happens as all of this goes down. Two of the three larval mages are of the same colony. Yeah. <laughs> I thank like you. It. Thank you so much for rolling that. <laughs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> the pit fiend is not kosher with either parties makes sense and the time dragon just flew off oh no <laughs> oh shit i mean we well, weren't really here, accounting um, for one that could just peace out yeah uh, so quick question about um the the arcana check that hilda did their on alignment the typically yeah like what's their alignment neutral oh, okay all right but does it still have to die I swear we had this conversation, and I was like, "What if it turns into a box of puppies?" And you're like, you "Guys are like, Murder! yeah, but it, we still have to kill it, but it's not going to be like destroying another continent while we get to it, you know?" It's listen. If it flies off, we can find it. <laughs> we know what it looks like. We can scry <laughs> on it. We'll be fine. Exactly, and but with, with it being neutral, it's probably not 100 percent guaranteed, but probably not going to start wiping out civilizations yeah you can roll an insight check you can roll an insight check of on any of these guys if you want to to kind of get the vibe i'll insight uh, all of them <laughs> i want to vibe check specifically the time dragon okay i'll have my okay so too. basically okay so ifa zaitari and ray you basically and simulacrum zaitari um, you basically got the sense that the time dragon looked at the pit fiend, look at the looked at the laurel mages, looked at everybody in the desert, and it was, was like, like nope. no, <laughs> why? Um, did you time blast the, the other four before you leave? <laughs> <laughs> he basically he was just like, fuck this shit, I am out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> and you know what? Who who can who can blame him? Uh, you were correct. Nobody. Yeah. Uh, Aoife, as you were vibe checking everybody, um, yeah, the pit fiend and all the larval mages are gonna start going at it very soon. Perfect. Let's just put them in an arena. 
Um, they you have see some wall of stones yeah. and wall of forces. Because you guys, the thunder down. you guys, because you know, essentially everybody and the giant mech. Um, yeah, I don't know how they missed the giant mech, but essentially they looked at all of you guys and we were like, okay, regular mortals. They looked at the larvo mage and the pit fiend, and it's like, holy shit, what the fuck are you doing here? So. They're just starting to go at it. The, the oh, god... Do we have our, um, God Killer or God Slayer and the Giants with us? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. So, like, they're ready to go if, like, it looks like, like, especially with the God Slayer, it's just going to pick off the weakest entity uh, once, like, this goes down. I am not, I am not making you fight three larval me i i do not have the capacity for three larval mages <laughs> <laughs> i thought you know they were all gonna be different and then you know some would be good guys and ha hang out with you and some would be bad guys and be like what the fuck um i mean if they're at a distance and they <clears throat> kind of are all starting to go at it i would personally love to cast uh, this with my wish, um, oh, whoops, oh, God, I'll, I'll have to link it in Discord, I guess, because I took a screenshot, because <clears throat> of the, all the text, like, just let it go for a minute and see what happens. Actually, out of question, out of curiosity, do you have uh, hallucinatory terrain right now? Um, you know, let me check. Because if so, you could just could you just make it look like none of the rest of us are here? Oh yeah, I could. Well, uh, it, so <laughs> I do have Mirage Arcane, but it takes ten minutes to cast. Oh, okay, all right. I was just thinking, like, make it so it's just, like just them, and we can just fight whoever lives. <laughs> that sounds really mean when I say it like that, doesn't it? Okay, so after a minute, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, pretty much the larval mages took out the third one, the pit fiend, and the other two larval mages, like, took out nearly each other, and the giants and god slayers pretty much like took them out. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was. It was very. Funniest, it was the. It was very lackluster. The funniest, most anticlimactic ending to a. We got to separate this old one into pieces and turn it into something else so it doesn't destroy the plane, and it ends up with just like fifty people standing in a circle watching some worms and a devil punch each other. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. So, so the only thing I want to point out, um, the problem that we have with the fact that one of them turned into a pit fiend is uh it's not actually dead because yeah. it's back in hell as a lemur so oh it's a side quest well do we have to kill it as a lemur we yeah we i mean we would have to kill it uh well, on its home plane DM. that oh, i mean on its that, home plane okay. yeah i mean that that's a it's been a while if we want to try to actually kill this thing, like for realsies, make it go away forever, we would have to take a side quest into one of the planes of hell to or destroy we, this thing. We, so, can we can delegate it. We have many allies who can travel the planes. We can delegate. <laughs> and we're all just punching our fists now, looking up at the sky where the time dragon flew up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, congratulations. You have defeated Natosa. Right, French fry? Yeah, but what about the necromancer one? That was the, the ne Natosa. Sorry, was the I mean the small one, the small one. Oh, uh, Agu? The, the Agu, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the lich bitch. Mm. Yeah, what, what did, what did happen to Agu, I wonder? Oh, oh. God. We'll find out next time yeah. in approximately no, Agu, seven years. Agu is the villain in the second campaign. <laughs> um, 
So what would you guys like to do now once all this has run its course? Um, well, do we still have to fuck with Agu, or are we, we good? I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, um, we know where Agu is right now is the problem. Um, because if we're not gonna try to fight Agu, or anybody else, uh, I'm gonna go, I, Mel is gonna, uh, once everybody's back she's gonna find her daughter and just have a fucking break um uh, yeah gonna go cottage core lesbianism you know <laughs> <laughs> i mean after yeah after the fight's over if there's if like we have bodies um zaitari can go around um bringing people back from the dead so long as they're, you know, willing. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> because I have some spell slots for that, and, you know, I have Wish in my simulacrum. room. I think, um, yeah, it has one eighth level spell slot to cast, like, um, like a resurrection or whatever. Um, but... I guess the question for you, DM, is are... Is this the part? Is this the pre-epilogue transitional part? Are we, are we thinking about what are we doing in terms of that? Because that's a that's a different conversation. Yeah, because yeah, if we're talking about um, that, then I feel like we should probably pick it up next week uh, with Ro here, so we can all have our proper like send offs, I guess. Yeah, but if we are going to be moving into like. I don't know more more battle and and planning and stuff. Then we could do we could do that, but I'm not sure what your plan is, DM. So I'm going to leave you with this. So oh boy, oh no, tonight or just forever or <laughs> no 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 just tonight tonight. tonight. <laughs> oh god, okay. Um, so as you pick up the remnants of the battle that just had happened between the transformed pieces of Natosa. Uh, the time dragon has flown off. The pit fiend, now it's, it's self a lemur, has returned to whatever layer of the nine hells it originally may have come from. You're not sure because it was manifested from an old god. So technically it's just a devil now. It's up in the air. It's up in the air. Um, those that have... If you no longer need anybody, those who have um, completed their journey and those who have, um, who have dead they wish to mourn now are starting are going to be packing up and headed home they do thank you for everything you have done they are very grateful for to all of you who have helped them with this potential life ending like world ending dimension ending threat um i have a question so would you head back to your keep the same day or do you need a day to like magnificent mansion and I mean I rest. figure that Zaitari will make a magnificent mansion we're gonna chill okay. probably yeah. um, because the mansion can hold so many people I'm just gonna open it up to everybody who came along um because there's, you know, the space for it. Uh -huh. um, and again, um, just doing what she can for, <clears throat> as far as spell slots are left, like healing and um, bringing people back if they can be, so. Okay. So as you are resting in the Magnificent Mansion, and I will say you do get the long rest, I will say that ahead of time. Oh, God. Clicking that button fast. Yeah. 
in the morning when you awake and you look outside. Oh, God. You are greeted by the sight of the elemental plane of fire. <sighs> um, and as soon as you stick your head out, there is ascending. How did that happen? It's a coincidence. I am. I am okay. Really <laughs> uh, you recognize the voice. Mm -hmm. It's Galloway. Uh huh. And he says that. Agu has succeeded into merging with the ley lines. Okay. And he needs your help immediately to take her out. Okay. Well, all right. And he glad will, we didn't go home yet. And he will. He, and he will meet you. And teleport you to where you guys need to be. All right. How many people were in that mansion? <laughs> uh, I don't know how many people were in that mansion, Zaitari. I mean, I feel like we probably could have. And I mean, I think it would have made sense for us to. Wanted to stay, probably. Yeah, like because it's a they... hundred. The yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like we probably would have invited in the people that we were working closely with. Like we probably would have invited in um, uh, the exalted. And, um, like, the any monks that Aoife was, like, close with that were I mean, there. Zaitari literally would have invited in everybody that was there. So Yeah, so, um, but I'm just saying, like, that would have been the ones that were probably, probably got the most enthusiastic invitations. Yeah, but um, it's just kind of like one of those things. It, it, it can hold as many people... Uh, as it can fit inside of it, essentially, based off of the dimensions that it gives. It just has a hundred servants. So, there is, like, technically no limit to how many people it can hold besides the physical space inside of the mansion. That's why so I'm leaving enough. it up to you, Darren. I say you can do a Yeah, who would have stayed, basically? Uh, the Exalted probably would have stayed the night. Uh, Lynn and Belzer would have probably stayed the night. Um, Tegan would have probably stayed. Um, seeing that, you know, he is no longer needed. Um, yeah, like, I get, I would say all your close friends and family and allies would have stayed. Makes sense. We ate good nine course banquet. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, I am going to, I'm just going to let you guys know that next session probably will be your last fight. Okay. Okay. Um, I've been wanting to test this guy out for a while, so. Oh, God. I knew. You never want to hear your DM say. Do anything. <laughs> My simulacrum is really tapped for spells, which, I mean, makes sense. Um, I'm just seeing if there's anything that she can cast that would be beneficial for, but not really. The only I mean, thing I can... Beneficial is casting Eldritch Blast until she dies. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm just saying, like, as far as giving kind of somebody points? like a party buff or whatever. Oh, uh, she's actually doing pretty solid. Um, okay. Oh, that's right. It was on the other thing. I think she was at 86 out of 92. Oh, cool. So oh, damn, she's doing great then. Yeah. It, the um, ring of evasion saved her. Ass the, yeah. Night. The ring of evasion and the high cast of the um, armor of Agathus that I did before we went into the final fight. Um mm saved a lot of yeah. that hit point that would have uh, gotten chunked off of her. So 
So I'm also going to say since there's only going to be one fight next week, um, if we want to play next week, so that would be the 10th. Um, you could think about if your character lives. What it'll do afterwards. <laughs> what you guys can do afterwards. Yeah. So we can roll that up into one. Yeah, that sense. sounds good. Yeah. As uh, long as well, we don't have a six-hour fight. I, I say. don't think this fight will be six hours. Um, no, I, yeah, I mean... Yeah, you know what to do. <laughs> uh, I I will say I was really wondering how the um battle with an old one the size of a goddamn city was gonna go, and uh, I I gotta say DM it I'm great I liked it oh, I was really worried you. that it was gonna be truly insane because of size. And it was, but not in, a, in an unmanageable, I don't understand what's happening way. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I adapted that map, but um, yeah, I figured that would just suit my needs. So. <sighs> okay. So next week, last last it, game. It would be deliciously tragic if Brandon died. Oh my <laughs> god. I'd be going on so many fucking quests. Ah. <laughs> uh. I have wish I can cast lots well, of things that'll bring you back. <laughs> unless I, in, I mean, unless something weird happens, I mean, we're dealing with time bullshit. So, I mean, I, I would honestly cry if Rain died. <laughs> like then something happened. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna cry anyways. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, between now and next session, we do need to uh, make a running list of all of our remaining resources. Potions wise, um, about, and I think I didn't use most of hers. Like I still got my universal resistance thing, so that's gonna be killer. Never actually popped it. <laughs> I still have my potion of flying, and I have another shade leaf herb left. Um, Rain's that that Skyrim player at the end of the game. <laughs> so many potions. Yeah, yeah, you just have you just have one pocket of your bag of holding that's dedicated just to random foods that you picked up, so that you can like. <laughs> it's like you just like hold oh, on, hold oh, on. One I second, gotta eat one some second. cheese. Wait a minute. One wait second. A minute. Pause. I... Pause. Screen comes up. You just shove cheese into your mouth, <laughs> and the, the fucking <laughs> lich is just looking at you like, "What the fuck is happening?" I, I'm, I'm they're like, "I don't fuck with the person that eats this much cheese." <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Well, hopefully I can give you, I can, this will be a good challenge for next week. But yeah, um, thanks for, for coming. And yeah. Thanks for not.